In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about Measure, Rescale and Rotate. So to begin with, we'll talk about the Rotate module. So we click on this button here, and we can see that we've got this van here that we've brought in, uh, that we've originally rescaled. Now I'll just show you where these modules are. So you come down here, and you click on the Size, Scale and Rotation here. Click on that link. And the measuring tools you can see here in the Design Center. So what we're interested in here is this rotate module. I'll just zoom out so I can show you what I'm talking about. We want to write this uh, van up with some signage. And if I zoom in here and drag down a guide, you can see that it's not quite level. It's not quite uh, perfectly horizontal. It's on a slight angle. And we need to be able to rotate this accurately so that this section here, this crease in the, uh, in the van, can be set level. Now, it's very easy to do this using the rotate module which is over here. So if we click this button here, Rotate, like so, the Rotate module comes up, as you can see. And I can change the view so I can see the, the van in, in full view rather than in that frosted view. And I can just position the rulers roughly into position, the start point here, and the end point up here, like so. And I can just rough those into where they approximately have to be. And then what I can do is I can zoom in and set the start position as accurately as I possibly can by using the uh, image underneath. So I can zoom right in and I can see where the starting position is like so. So I'm going to work out what the angle is of this van. So drag the view over to the right like so and I get to the end point. And I position the end point exactly where I need it to be like so. And what you'll see here that this is 0.9 of a degree. So it's a very small amount. Now we want to set this to zero degrees so that it's perfectly horizontal in our designing area so we can uh, write this job up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this to zero degrees and it will set this slight angle of 0.9 of a degree by clicking accept here to zero degrees and you can see the van is slightly rotated just that little bit. So now it's perfectly level and if I zoom in you can see that here with the guide how that's now nice and level so I can now uh, write this job up and know that it's going to come out accurately when I cut or print out my uh, artwork. And as I, if I click undo, you can see how it, it's just moved at that little amount, like so, or re-rotated at that little amount, like so. Okay, now I'll also show you how to set it to, a, uh, to another angle instead of just to zero degrees. You might want to set it to 180, for example. You might have a little, um, a little tear sign or white sign to put uh, at 90 degrees to the door crease here. So again we just position our start and end ruler in rough position. We zoom in and we start our start point you know uh, on the crease of the door. So we're going to rotate that to 180 degrees which I'll show you in a moment. So we just get the end ruler to be nice and uh, in line with the door crease like so. And you can see it's 89.4 degrees. So we want to set the 89.4 degrees, not to 0 degrees, because we don't want that flat. We want it at 180 degrees. So we're going to rotate the van so it's perfectly um, horizontal at 180 degrees. So we can do a little job along the crease of the door. So I click Accept there. And you can see how it's rotated it now. And if I drag that up, you can see that the crease of the door is now perfectly at 180 degrees. So I could um, uh, do a little tear sign or you know some information uh, about this particular job that I need to, to put there for the uh, customer. So that's how we use the re-rotate module to apply that, uh, that angle like so. Now the other thing you can do is you can reapply whatever rotation you've used to another job or to the same job. You might have a, the other side of the van, you might have taken a photograph of that and you want to rotate that to the same angle. So you can see here that I've just undone it. If I click this Apply, Reapply button, like so, it rotates it to the same angle. It remembers what I've just done. So I can apply that to any object or text, or it doesn't matter what it is. It will re remember whatever I've, I've previously done. So that module is a great way of rotating uh, to a very specific amount uh, objects like vans and uh, shop windows, etc. That's the end of this lesson.